In the world of research, ensuring consistency and reliability in measurements is paramount. Whether we are assessing the effectiveness of a new treatment or evaluating the accuracy of a diagnostic tool, the agreement between different raters or the same rater over time is crucial. This is where the Intraclass Correlation Coefficient, or ICC, comes into play. This video will guide you through the concept of the ICC, its significance, and practical applications. The ICC, or Intraclass Correlation Coefficient, is a crucial statistical measure that quantifies the level of agreement between multiple measurements of the same thing. It is widely used in various fields including medicine, psychology, and social sciences to ensure consistency and reliability in data collection and analysis. Imagine you have three doctors assessing the severity of a patient's tremor on a scale of 1 to 10. Each doctor might have a slightly different perspective or criteria for their assessment. The ICC helps determine how much of the variation in their scores is due to actual differences in the tremor, and how much is due to random chance or individual perception. This is essential for ensuring that the assessments are reliable and can be trusted for further analysis. The ICC ranges from 0 to 1. A higher ICC value indicates greater agreement among the raters, while a lower value suggests less agreement. An ICC of 1 indicates perfect agreement, meaning all raters gave the exact same score. This level of agreement is ideal and signifies that the measurement process is highly reliable. Conversely, an ICC of 0 signifies no agreement whatsoever, suggesting that the ratings are entirely random. This would indicate a need to review the measurement process to identify and correct inconsistencies. The ICC offers several advantages over other measures of agreement. Firstly, it can handle more than two raters, unlike some simpler methods. Secondly, it considers both the correlation and the absolute agreement between measurements. This makes it a more comprehensive and informative tool for assessing reliability. In medical and clinical research, the ICC is widely used. For instance, it helps evaluate the consistency of measurements taken by different clinicians using the same instruments such as blood pressure readings or tumor size assessments. It also plays a vital role in studies examining the reliability of diagnostic tests, ensuring that the results are consistent across different testers. Section 4. Interpreting ICC Values Understanding what different ICC values represent is essential for drawing meaningful conclusions from research. The Intra-Class Correlation Coefficient, or ICC, is a measure of reliability and consistency in data. Generally, an ICC above 0.75 is considered excellent, indicating a high level of agreement. This means that the measurements are highly consistent across different observers or instruments. Values between 0.60 and 0.74 suggest good agreement, which is still quite reliable, but not as perfect as the higher range, while those between 0.40 and 0.59 indicate fair agreement. This range shows moderate reliability, which might be acceptable in some contexts but not all. Anything below 0.40 is deemed poor agreement, raising concerns about the reliability of the measurements. Such low values suggest significant variability and inconsistency. Let's illustrate this with an example to make it clearer. Suppose a study investigates the reliability of a new method for measuring bone density. The consistency of the results is crucial for its acceptance in the medical community. If the ICC is 0.85, it signifies that the new method produces highly consistent results, irrespective of the technician performing the measurement. This high level of reliability is essential for clinical applications. Conversely, an ICC of 0.30 would suggest that the method is unreliable and prone to substantial variability, making it unsuitable for clinical use. This low reliability could lead to incorrect diagnoses and ineffective treatments. Section 5. Practical Considerations for Using the ICC When using the ICC, several practical considerations come into play. These considerations are essential for ensuring the accuracy and reliability of your results. Firstly, it is crucial to select the appropriate type of ICC based on the study design and the type of data being analyzed. The choice of ICC model can significantly impact the interpretation of your results. 
Different ICC models exist for different scenarios, such as two-way random effects models for situations where both raters and subjects are randomly sampled. Understanding these models helps in choosing the right one for your specific research needs. Secondly, like many statistical tests, the ICC has certain assumptions that must be met for the results to be valid. Ignoring these assumptions can lead to incorrect conclusions. These assumptions include normality of the data and homogeneity of variance. Ensuring that your data meets these criteria is a critical step in the analysis process. Checking these assumptions before conducting the analysis ensures the accuracy and reliability of the ICC estimate. This step cannot be overlooked if you want dependable results. Finally, it is essential to report the ICC along with its confidence interval. This practice provides a more comprehensive understanding of the reliability of your measurements. The confidence interval provides a range within which the true ICC value is likely to fall, accounting for the inherent uncertainty associated with any statistical estimate. Including this information in your report adds transparency and credibility to your findings. Section 6. Conclusion. The importance of the ICC in research. In conclusion, the intra-class correlation coefficient is an invaluable tool for assessing agreement and reliability in research. It provides a standardized and robust measure that helps researchers determine the consistency of measurements across different raters or time points. By understanding the principles of the ICC, its interpretation and practical considerations, researchers can enhance the quality and reliability of their findings, ultimately leading to more accurate and impactful scientific advancements.